Hey guys, welcome to another day and another video. Uh, while working on one particular question from linear programming duality in the previous uh, video, I thought I should discuss a little bit about the concept as well. So today I'm taking the liber liberty to you know discuss this concept. What is duality after all? So suppose you have a scenario let's take an example here to uh, make it more you know understandable suppose there are two vitamins that we require say vitamin b c and vitamin b c they are present in say two different food items say food items are per unit wise they are present in a1 and a2 food, food item a1 uh, it could be a fruit or vegetable and a2 so suppose, suppose we have the scenario that the requirements or the requirements, the minimum requirement, there are some minimum requirements of vitamin B and C in our body. Say 60 units of vitamin B are required and 108 units of vitamin C are required. And suppose we know that food item A1, Food item A1 will give me 6 units of vitamin B and 4 units of vitamin C. And, vitamin, uh, and food item A2 will give me 9 units of vitamin B and 13 units of vitamin C. Okay. I also have the cost of, uh, you know, these food items. So I have per unit, per unit cost is 12 rupees and 18 rupees for A1 and A2 respectively. Now, the entire diet problem, this problem will be basically ascertaining or ascertaining. We would want to know what is the quantity of A1 and A2 food item that should be eaten every day to meet our daily requirements of vitamin B and C. And of course, that has to be done at a minimum cost. Now, the formulation of this would be. This means that I want to know what is the amount of A1, A2 at minimum cost so that my daily requirements are met of vitamin B and C. So in that scenario, suppose X1 is the number of units of say food item of food item A1 and X2 is the number of units that you would need number of units of food item A2. So that means our whole idea is about the cost is to minimize the cost I would want to minimize, say, Z, which is 12 rupees per unit. So that means I will be spending how much on A1? 12 X1, 18 per unit for A2. So that means I'll be spending how much? 18 X2. So I would minimize, I would want to minimize this cost. Under what condition? My minimum requirements should be met, right? So the under the conditions that if you observe food item A1, if I'm taking X1 units of A1, it's already given that 6, six units, 6 from A1, if, if the total is 10, then 6 goes to vitamin B and 4 is for C. Okay. So that means what is happening, what I require, in total I require my uh, vitamin B. Vitamin B, for vitamin B I require it needs to be more than or equal to 60, right? Minimum requirement is that. So I'm getting 6 from A1 and I'm getting... 9 from A2, right? That should be greater than or equal to 60. And for vitamin C, I'm getting, it has to be greater than or equal to 108. 
So I'm getting 4 from A1. So 4x1 plus 13 from A2. So 13x2 should be greater than or equal to 108, right? And of course, the number of units that I'm using, it has to be positive. So x1, x, x2, both are greater than or equal to 0. So this is your base problem. What is this problem? This is my diet problem. This is your base problem. And this, in the concept of duality, will be called as primal. This is your primal. Okay? This is the primal problem. And for every primal problem, you have a dual that you can construct. So, क्या मैं डिस्कस करना चाहती हूँ यहाँ पे डुअल क्या है सेम सिनेरियो को देखने का एक और नजरिया वो क्या नजरिया है नाउ हियर आई एम मिनिमाइजिंग द कॉस्ट देयर आई शुड इफ आई एम थिंकिंग इन ऑपोजिट मैनर आई शुड बी मैक्सिमाइजिंग समथिंग लेट्स सी व्हाट आई वुड बी मैक्सिमाइजिंग सो अब इसको एक डीलर के हिसाब से सोचते हैं सपोज देर इज अ डीलर होलसेल होलसेलर और इट दर इज अ डीलर हु सेल्स विटामिन बी एंड सी ओके एंड कस्टमर्स परचेज विटामिन सी बी एंड सी इन द फॉर्म ऑफ ए फूड आइटम्स ए वन ए टू वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस दैट राइट नाउ ए वन ए टू इट्स एन एजम्शन दैट दे हैव देयर मार्केट वैल्यू ओनली बिकॉज इट कंटेन्स बी एन सी विटामिन बी एन सी That's why you consume it. Now dealer will have to fix. Dealer is selling vitamin B and C. Dealer will have to fix the maximum per unit selling price of the two vitamins. Okay, you are the dealer. You will have to fix the price of vitamin B and C that you are selling in such a way that the resulting prices of the foods A one A two it should not exceed. their market price the existing market price to so existing market price it should not exceed, exceed that so this scenario basically boils down to mathematically agar hum is problem ko banaye to ab kya ho jayega suppose karte hain let's let's let y1 y2 be the prices prices uh, you know uh, the that he uh, dealer that dealer fix up okay so the dealer decides to fix up y1 y2 the price of the vitamins okay of the vitamins vitamin b c so that means he want he would want to maximize what he can earn out of it right so the situation would now turn into maximizing maximizing i should call this minimizing say zx because the variable we are taking x there here we are taking y so we can say maximizing say zy which is what now vit vitamin b what is the minimum requirement 60 60 units right so he will he can earn how much he can earn 60 into y1 y1 is the price associated selling price associated to b so 60 y1 plus 108 y2 he would want to maximize this now with certain constraints certain constraints are still there now what are those certain constraints you don't want he would not want the existing market price of food item a1 and a2 change so that means 6y1 plus 4y2 6y1 4y2 what is that showing you 6y1 4y2 y1 is associated to vitamin b price and to vitamin c now this should be this should be less than or equal to 
Similarly, 9Y1, the price of price of food item A2 has to be lesser than 18 only. So 9Y1 plus 13Y2 should be less than or equal to 18 only. Okay. In this scenario also, Y1 has to be greater than or equal to 0. Y2B has to be greater than or equal to 0. So this essentially is the idea of dual for any primal. This what we have generated will be called dual of this optimization problem or this LPP. So what you have observed here, there are few things that you must have observed here. Note that down. Following must be your observations. So your primal was minimum here, minimizing, minimization problem. And so dual was automatically maximization problem. Now, primal, in the primal, your constraint values were 60 and 108. Now, 60 and 108 are actually coefficient of the dual variables y1, y2 in the dual. Now, constraint coefficient uh, matrix, if you observe the, the matrix form, you know, this that was given to you, this is... Uh, of the dual would be actually transpose of the primal, the, the values, the way they are. Okay. So if it was 6, 4, this, it was 6, 4, 9, 13. And here, what, are, what is it? It is 6, 4, 9, 13. Isn't it? So the, the matrix is transpose of primal and direction of inequalities in the dual is reverse of what it was in the primal, okay? I would explain something more about dual and primal in the next video. I hope at least this much is clear. So we have done one problem. And after that, I have just explained to you what primal, uh, what dual of any primal is and what it actually stands for. Why are we saying that the solutions are same? Because the situations are same. The same situation is giving you one thing. And it's just, you know, um, like you have active and passive uh, narratives in English, right? So it's the same thing, but seen in a different manner. So in terms of, of course, it's easier to see in terms of profit maximization and cost minimization. So that's why I took up this example. Okay, so I hope uh, what is dual for any primal 